everyone, this is Nikki Rowland and today I have a layout for Hip Kit Club. Um, today is Mixed Media Monday um, and I'm using the August kits. So um, this is my second layout using these kits. I'm going to say Mixed Media Monday, so I am going to use uh, the ink pads that came in the kit. So I want to do a sizzling hot uh, layout today of us in the swimming pool on holiday um, and um, the blue I wasn't too sure about um, so I've chosen to switch out the blue ink pad and I've picked out an orange one that I used uh, sorry that came in a previous color kit so I'm using um, the two other colors that came in the August color kit which is the pink one be mine and the yellow one which is called limon limoncello um, and uh, I'm also using one from I think it's Stamp Market, it's called Citrine, I think. Anyway, so orange. So basically, um, orange and pink and yellow. So there we go. I'm just using daubers to put these on. These are, I think they're the Tim Holtz ones. And I really love the fact that um, you can now get the daubers that are domed. So rather than flat, they're domed, which I think is so much better. Why were they not invented before? So anyway, um, I'm going to, um, I'm using, I've used those to put the um, colour on initially, just done it in kind of like a swirling motion. And then um, under, oh, then over the top of the um, three different colour areas, I have um, put, used the stencil, the uh, Simple Stories um, stencil um, and just press the same color inks through those stencils but I've just pressed quite hard. So basically I have this really lovely area of kind of blended colors um, and the orange slices over the top. So I just I love how that's looking. It's it's come out really really well. Um, in fact it looks better now that it's covered up a bit more but um, <laughs> once the layout's complete I mean it looks even better but right now it looks pretty I think it looks pretty cool I'm quite happy with how it's looking but um it doesn't looking at it on the screen right now it doesn't look like the colors flow together that well but in person it, it really does look like they do blend in together um perhaps I could have blended over the uh, sections a little bit better but um yeah it, it worked out really well um so I'm just adding some splatters <clears throat> of the same colors <clears throat> um I'm using um the same ink pads, um, I've just pressed them onto a craft sheet, added some water um, and um, have then uh, used a paintbrush to splatter those on. Um, I thought it would also look good with some white um, paint splattered over the top of the coloured area um, and uh, actually I feel that um, towards the end of the layout I needed some more splatters so I actually increased the splatters further, not the white ones, the coloured ones. Um, okay, so I have um, cut out this hot cut file from the August downloads. Um, I don't think they're there right now, so um, just uh, apologies for that. They'll be up very soon. Um, I know lots of people are waiting for them. Um, so I have cut out the uh, the hot one in white. I've also cut it out in one of the coral colours of cardstock from the August cardstock kit. It's called Roselle. I love this colour. It's really, really pretty. Um, and I've cut them exactly the same size um, and I've just offset them slightly so it gives like a shadow effect. Um, I, I'm just, I'm, every time I do this I'm always so impressed with how it looks. Um, it just does look really, really awesome to have that kind of shadow effect or offset effect um, on the cut files when you cut them in the same size, different colours, really, really awesome. Um, and I've got a photo that fits perfectly in the middle. Now, I couldn't have done that again if I tried because this is a regular photo I'd already got printed and I cut it out as a circle with my metal dies. And I tell you what, it just fits inside that cut file circle so perfectly. If I had tried to size the cut file to fit the photo, I would never have got it the right size. Um, but this was pure accident. So it's always nice when things like that happen, isn't it? Because I was expecting to back it and cut it down or, or whatever, but no, it just lit literally slotted right in there. Okay, so I'm loving how the cut file and the photo are looking on top of the um, mixed media that I've done there. Um, and now I just need to kind of finish things off and build it up. I'm, I'm, I like this kind of central, simple design where the, the design is quite small um, and in the middle. Um, and uh, I'm thinking, how can I add much more um, to this layout? Um, and the answer is probably I can't add that much more. Um, so what I have done is I've gone through the Vicky Bruton um, uh, colour study stickers. And I've pulled out some stickers and things that are the same colours as the uh, three colours of mixed media I used in the background. So I've pulled out orange flowers, pink flowers, yellow flowers, and then I've pulled out some other simple stories, um, things, hearts and a lemon and another flower, chipple flower. Um, and then I've also added some other 
chipboard hearts and Vicky Boutin stickers, um, hearts and stars. Now, um, I liked the idea of using pops of black because the colours are so um, bright and summery. Having a, a few pops of black really will give me some real added drama. Um, I love how, you know, amazing black pops of black look on a layout like this. So I thought I would do that. So I've gone for a couple of stars. I've also, I'm just about to put on a label that says what matters most. Um, I've used the black, long black heart, um, like twisty, I don't know how to, how to explain it. It's a line with a heart in it um, from the Vicky Bootin sticker sheet. And so I've put that across from the photo extending out towards the T. Um, and I'm just adding lots of little tiny dots of um, gold, um, little tiny circle stickers from the Vicky Bootin uh, Colour Study sticker sheet. I've just added those around the background, kind of like a starburst effect. Um, and that's when I decided I need to add some more splatters uh, because um, I've got all these little dots kind of flying out from the middle of that circle um, and I uh, needed a few more. Um, but uh, yeah, I did that with splatters. Um, okay, so here's that little label going on, the black label that says what matters most. I've already got a label above that that says this is the stuff that matters. Um, and um, yeah, I'm now uh, trying out um, sequins, but actually I, I didn't like, oh, sorry, the seed beads, but I, I didn't like the look of them. So um, they didn't quite work in terms of colors. So I've, I've uh, saved those for another day. I think they'll be perfect for a shaker pocket. Um, so I've just popped those um, away for now. Um, and uh, yeah, so I'm nearly done. I just want to hand write in my journaling um, before I uh, finish off. So um, this, just a few sentences about spending time in the pool while we were on holiday. Um, I didn't want to make a big deal of my journaling because I thought it might distort the image um, or the look of the layout. So um, I have left it quite small and not underlined it. Um, a few more pops of black, but in the, um, in the Indian ink um, splatters, large Indian ink splatters there. So I've just put some of those on. Um, and um, unfortunately, they didn't splatter very well. So I've ended up with some funny shapes. So I just filled them in with a pen. <laughs> um, and I did want a few more so and smaller ones. So I've, I've picked up my paintbrush and done it that way. Uh, so I did a few more splatters in that way. Um, right, so yeah, that is me uh, pretty much finished now. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this layout. I love how it turned out. Um, and uh, yeah, it was, it was good fun to make. Um, so yeah, thank you very much for joining me today. I hope you have enjoyed seeing how this layout came together. It was super quick and simple. I love it. Um, don't forget that if you are a HipKit Club subscriber, um, you get the main kit at a reduced price, 15% discount on all add-on kits, and you get access to exclusive subscriber cut files like the ones I used today. Um, so thank you very much for joining me. Uh, that was Nikki Rowland for HipKit Club on Mixed Media Monday.